Well, I've been getting a lot of questions on Let's Go Help. <laughs> on why you know, they say they're not, they applied for the stimulus check, you know, at the IRS, you know, the $1,200 or $2,400, but they're not getting it. And, and they get strange messages and everything, and they filled out their tax form, they did everything right. And now I think I found out why. You know, <laughs> actually, it's through reporters at the Washington Post. The two uh, people that are uh, economic reporters, Michelle Singletary, I see a lot of her stuff, which is great and Heather Long. So they did this sort of like an expose of why the IRS screwed up. And it's because of, listen to this, <laughs> people like TurboTax <laughs> and uh, H&R Block and uh, who's that other one? Hewlett, uh, Jackson Hewitt. You know, these professional tax preparers, because you used them last year, the year before, you're not getting your, your refund. <laughs> because they they had them on. In other words, you probably paid for your tax for preparation uh, from these people, and so they're getting your tax return, but they don't. They're not really, <laughs> and they the IRS doesn't know where to send it. So they screwed up. You and you know, this is a biased opinion because I think you can get most of what they do for free if you look. Uh, so don't trust me. But really, so. You, you file the taxes through them. They wanted to either lend you money on your tax refund, which to me is probably an outrageous interest rate. You can get it better somewhere else. Uh, or you paid them uh, the fee to doing your taxes with your refund money. Okay. Uh, and so they, you know, so the refund that year came to them and not to you. Now, what happens is they didn't keep the uh you know, the, the bank information about H&R Block or TurboTax. And so they have no way to send you electronically your uh, refund. So that's what's going on. Now here, you go to this page, I mean, Washington Post, and here's the headline of the article. You could find it, but let me read you what they say, because I think it's important you know about. Okay, the art article says, millions of people who use tax preparation services didn't get their payments. Okay, so this is probably a good reason why a lot of people in Let's Go Help, you know, didn't get it. Customers who use tax preparation services such as H&R Block, TurboTax, and Howard uh, Jackson Hewitt complained on Twitter and to the Post, <laughs> the Washington Post, that they didn't get their uh, stimulus payments Wednesday. Up to 21 million tax filers could be affected. 21 million taxpayers are getting screwed this way. I mean, eventually you're going to get it, but you thought you're going to get it now. And they thought too. So a consumer law expert, VJ, uh, said, because the IRS does not have these people direct deposit information on filing. File. If they received an advance of their tax refund, from those companies or had their fee for tax preparation tax out, taken out of their refund. The reason is that tax preparation companies received these people's tax refunds first, deducted their fees, then distributed the remaining refunds to the customers. Because of that, the IRS had a temporary bank account on file for that tax preparer <laughs> for the 2019 uh, season. Yeah, so they didn't have your uh, uh, you know, bank information. The IRS is aware of the problem and urges people to put in their bank information on the Get My Payment portal, a spokesman said. Okay, and there's a lot of people, they, they describe in that article uh, that are all pissed off at H&R Block and things like that. And that's why I don't, you know, like I say, I'm biased. So don't trust me in evaluating this. What you want to do is get your money. So what you want to do is go to the IRS direct deposit hotline, okay? Uh, so you want to go IRS, uh, get my payment, okay? So, but you want to, you want to get into, uh, uh, what was that? Get my payment portal. Okay, so that is okay. So you get irs.gov slash coronavirus slash get my payment. Okay, you go down here, get my payment. Okay, and then there's a system where you go put in and put in your bank statement. So that's what 
the IRS is telling the IRS spokesman said, you know, to do. But I would go back and read uh, this article, you know, uh, from the Washington Post. It has a lot of good information up there. Also, uh, payment status not available. Remember seeing that? Okay. It tells you what to do on that. Frustrated tax person also took to Twitter and vent their inability to track when and how they could be getting their money. Some some posted an image of the message they received by entering payment status, not available. There are a number of reasons uh, the tool can't check the status. Okay, here are the re reasons why your payment status is not available. One, you're not eligible for payment. Two, your payment is based on uh, your status as Social Security, disability, veterans, or railroad retirement. So all of those, they, if you're getting money from any of those systems, that's how they're going to send your money back. You have not filed the 2018 or 19 return, or you filed your 2019 return, but it hasn't been fully processed. So that's another possibility. Or you used a non-filers tool, but the information you entered is still being processed. So it's not they have no kind of process. I mean, they, they got, they're sending out 150 million checks, yeah. And 80 million of them should have been out by now. But there's 20 million that got caught by H&R Block and TurboTax. <laughs> uh, uh, there's a problem verifying. Okay. Others say that they're getting a message, even though they did not fall into those categories. Yeah. And then it says, okay, if you're not one of those kind of information on the site is updated only once a day. So checking more than once in a 24-hour per period won't yield a different result. The IRS says people who qualify for a payment will receive it in the mail if they don't get it through the direct deposit. Okay. Now, I mean, to me, if you still have a question, don't want to do, it's your elected official. And maybe if you're really worried, I would contact them. And the way you find them, uh, just to make sure. And also, see, it, to me, it leaves a trail that you tried to do. Uh, and, and, but I would wait a little bit because uh, here, if you go commoncause.org and then find your representative and then you just put in your address there and they'll tell you. Uh, 39, oh, yeah, okay, here, Fairfax Drive, and you put submit. Oh, then they want you to get money. Not today, I'm trying to get money. Okay, and there they are. Then you can just click on their homepage. And, and, and the people you want to deal with are your two senators. Here's your two senators. So if you're in Virginia, it's Warner and Kane, and your elected representative for your area. And see, this little system comes out for your area. Okay, go back and read the Washington Post article. This will give you a lot of information, particularly about using professional taxpayers' uh, uh, services. As remember, you could get up to, uh, you know, if, you, if your income is up to $69,000 a year, you get your uh, taxes done for free. Sure, you may have to wait a little bit or something like that, but hell, it's always going to screw you up for the rest of your life <laughs> and even save 100 or 200 or 300 bucks sometimes. People are charged, which is crazy. <laughs> okay, so we'll see you soon. And that's why Let's Go Help members uh, leave uh, in the discussion, ask me a question. Uh, I'm pretty much up to date, at least the first time questioners, <laughs> I'm a first time caller, <laughs> and, and be able to help you there, okay? Well, have fun. There's still lots coming. And that's why now if you know about these $2 trillion, see, there's $3 trillion worth of other programs you don't know 